think for me, um, jazz allows you to really, you can engulf yourself in it like no other, I feel. Um, for me, I'm able to escape in it. Um, I know for, for when I was listening to Kind of Blue as a child, I remember just sort of feeling like I was being transported. And that was a feeling I couldn't um, get in touch with listening to other genres of music. So for me, I feel like the ability um, to be able to free yourself in the music is something that is for me specific to jazz. So that's why I think I gravitated towards it because I was able to go off in my imagination um, while having that listening experience. There's always a need for for new for new direction, for new perspectives, for you know, fresh air. You know, it's never a bad idea to open a window and let the air in, you know. Um, so with that being said, I feel like jazz naturally is an evolving uh, genre of music. And in order for it to continue to live on and thrive, we have to be open to the direction that it's going in. And if, you know, we aren't, we aren't open enough to see you know, who those players are that are pushing this genre forward and to support them and to play their music, um, then this genre is gonna die. Um, I think if, you know, if we think back, if people weren't open to Miles Davis's Bitches Boo, for example, you know, it wouldn't have given way to some of the artists that we're hearing today. You know, a lot of people were resistant to that whole fusion sound mm -hmm. and avant-garde and all of that. But, you know, really that music is a predecessor to what we're hearing now. And so I think it, that if we don't have an open ear and an open mind and open eyes to that, then, you know, there's no way that jazz is gonna be able to continue on. We are constantly trying to bring in a new generation into this music as fans because you know, the bottom line is this, you know, a lot of people who support this station are of a certain age. Um, so we have to realize that all things come to an end, right? So we have to be reaching out to millennials and, you know, and, and trying to get their support so that this station can continually thrive financially specifically, because if we don't, then, you know, I try to, you know, dig in the crates and and make those connections where hip hop meets jazz. Um, that's definitely one of the things that I absolutely love. Like if I play a Lonnie Smith thing, um, you know, I'm going to remind you that such and such sampled that or this artist took that beat and did this with it. So I'm always trying to make connections like that because there's always something that you can connect to in this music, you know, whatever generation that you come from. Um, so that's definitely been one of my missions. And I think, you know, hosting the continuing experience in DC, I've sort of brought that same sort of concept to afternoon jazz on WBGO as well. You know, that whole thing, looking back in order to move forward, making those through lines and connections um, so that people don't feel so removed from this music or, or this isn't something that they can connect to. At the end of the day, you know, jazz is Black American music. There's no two ways about that. It is originated out of the soul, the pain, the minds, the hearts of African American people. And I think that cannot be taken away from it. You know, concur with your Nicholas Paytons on, on that whole concept because that is what it is you know it is black american music and so whether you would like to call it jazz or not i think it's all a feeling it really is and i think for those that you know might not necessarily <laughs> i guess fully grasp the concept that it is african-american originated music you know it's jazz for lack of a better understanding i guess right. you could say but you know 
as long as we're clear on the fact that it is black American music at the end of the day, because that's, that's what it is. I think we all have been trying to figure out different innovative ways to, you know, to create and, and stay connected while being apart from people. Um, you know, I myself, I've been home working since, gosh, early mid-March at this point. So it's been about five months right. almost that I've been working from home. So that's that's been very different. Um, but I have made an effort to um, stay in touch with musicians through something I created called The Pulse on WBGO. And so with that, I've been able to stay connected with artists um, through interviews, much like what we're doing right now. And also, um, you know, writing on how artists are staying creative and inspired and all of that. That's what the pulse is for, um, just that. So that's how I've made an effort to sort of chronicle what's happening um, in our time, in our, in our lives right now, because this is a, a, a very historic, momentous time that we're living in that I hope, you know, doesn't necessarily last forever, but I feel like, you know, once this is all over, we'll definitely have product 